Hello there scrappers, this is Sheena Rowlands and I'm showing you a layout today for UK Scrap Addicts DT. We're using this wonderful mood board by my colleague Amy for our August challenge. Now I have to tell you I have had to speed this video up because you really don't want to watch me scrap in real time. I'm quite a ditherer. So first of all, just so I can explain my process, I gathered lots of papers um, looking at the colours on the mood board that's on, in the picture top right. A lot of them are from Dear Lizzie or from Crate Paper but I really I just had a good look through my stash to find some ones that m matched in with the mood board. So because of the summery feel I then picked some photographs. These are of my daughter uh, eating ice cream in Florida a good few years ago uh, and ice cream is already featured on the mood board so I thought they were a good way to scrap these photos that have not been scrapped before. I've left the mood board in the top right corner just to remind myself um, the reason or the inspiration for this page so I can keep referring back to it. So I've got three photographs here and I'm just using some of the papers that I found to mat them. I mat the top two once I think and the bottom photo you can see me matting that twice. Now some of the 12 by 12 papers I've torn their edges. There's three papers there at the top uh, well, there's strips, the two that are underneath, and I'm looking at using one of the strips that's left over at the bottom. I want to make sure that I bring in that nice blue. Seems to be uh, in more uh, ranges this year, which is perfect, because I'm, I'm definitely a blue lover and a blue wearer, so uh, I like to see blue in ranges. So now I'm starting to think about how to embellish this page. Um, I'm, these are these papers are from Crate, I think they're sunny days. Just leftovers that I've got um, from the past, I love this range. So I'm just trimming them to put underneath the photos. Right, now I'm thinking about embellishments. This is the best bit for me, I love adding bits and pieces. So I've gone round my stash and I've brought all sorts of bits to the table to have a look what would suit. Sometimes I find unless you actually show things up to the actual papers, I'm not really sure what I want to pick. And things you think would be perfect once you actually lay them down aren't. So here I am having a look what I really fancy. Now when I break up a collection or a kit, I tend to store things by colour only. So I will have got the bags with the pink and the blue embellishments in as well. Looking for any bits and pieces I can add. This wooden spoon came in a kit oh, a few years ago now and I love it and it's perfect but it's taking a while to get find its forever home and it does on this page eventually um, but I think it's perfect to go with the ice cream in the photographs. So now I'm thinking I need a cluster of bits and pieces around the two photos at the top. Looking again at the mood board, um, I was looking at the circles and the rainbow and they're just the pure uh, summery feel. So that's what I've got in mind as I look for bits and pieces. Then I remember these butterflies um, from Maggie Holmes. They're new, hadn't even opened the pack. And there's butterflies on the mood board too. So uh, perfect. So here I am. You can literally hear me thinking as I decide, I'm deciding what I might like in different places. I tend to build up and get most bits and pieces together before I actually start sticking anything down. I know we all have a different way of doing things. So I'm looking at tags and bits and pieces. I really like that blue camera. It's got a bit of a iridescent sheen to it, which makes me think it really was Dear Lizzie. And I, and I really want that there, so I'll be finding a home for that. I've just realised that my fingernails are painted in this video, which is very unusual for me as I'm a nurse and it doesn't happen very often, so I must have recorded this after I came back from my holiday. Right, here we are, we'll pop back in and all the background papers are now stuck down because you really didn't want to watch me do that. So I'm now going to stick the photos down and really start to make some decisions of what bits and pieces I want to go around the side. It makes a change for me to be using three photographs on a page, to be honest. And as they were taken in quick succession, I think they're perfect. So I'm thinking this layout needs a title. I love these um, thickers. They're like a shiny, puffy, bright pink. Perfect. 
And I also want to add a little bit more to the title. So these are navy foam letters. I'm just applying them to some wax paper there. I find this a really good thing to do because the paper is clear and the, dot and the letters don't stick and I can lie it over the top of the layout and decide whether they, they work. The navy letters do, but the eye heart doesn't so much. So I'm now going back to the thickest to find something else. I do like to mix different alphas in my title. I think it adds a bit more interest. And I think I've decided on what I really want to call this page. So I think everything's pretty much where I think it wants it wants to be. Now the biggest thing for me is I have to commit and actually start to think about sticking them down. Sometimes it can take me anything from a three or four hours to a, over a day to finish a, a layout. Sometimes due to interruption, sometimes due to indecision uh, and, or other life commitments that get in the way of this wonderful um, hobby of mine. Right, here we go, we're getting a bit of sticking. Now that ribbon bow uh, must be 18 months, two years old maybe. Uh, it, it, they are very big, they're definitely Maggie Holmes, but I think it actually um, definitely got the stripy, summery feel going there and connecting with my daughter's t-shirt, which is also stripy, definitely works. I'm using some foam pads for some of these bits and pieces just to um, give some dimension. I love that rubbery, rubber embellishment ice cream, that's an Amy Tan one, and uh, that's recent. Um, I think I had to have a, an ice cream on here somewhere. In fact, the ice cream that my daughter's eating in the photographs is called Dipping Dots, as you can see from the title. And the, that year that when we went to Florida, we'd never even heard of it before. And it became a family favourite, and we probably ate our body weight in it while we were there. Uh, little spheres of cold ice cream. Easy to eat with a spoon, no mess. Uh, every parent's uh, idea of a good time. N no mess from an ice cream, and actually, we loved it. So many flavours, and it's one of those memories that will always stay for uh, with us from that trip to Florida. I like my title straight. I brought in my Tim Holtz ruler, and I'm going to use that to help me get the title straight. I think because of the papers are ripped it was I, I was finding it very difficult to actually decide where a straight line was so using the ruler gets rid of any indecision. I think this is the first time I've used these navy letters. I do like them. I think they work really well. There wasn't a comma apostrophe whatever in this set but that's a J that I've just doctored just so it can be the, get the title correct. I did check on the the company's website just to make sure I spelt it right because these photos are from 2010 and it's a long time since I've actually eaten this ice cream. You can see on the back of the spoon I've put some red line tape. I hate it when bits and pieces fall off my layouts and end in the bottom of the page protectors. So if I uh, am concerned about any bits I do use the red tape because I find that it, uh, it doesn't move once you've stuck things down. So um, I'm just faffing in that bottom left corner, just uh, gathering everything together. I do apologise from the shine from my light on the photograph. That is something I will uh, look at in future videos, but I, I'm a novice at this. And uh, I was quite impressed with myself that I'd managed to make a video at all. So I do apologise. And here is the finished page. You'll see I added some journaling in the bottom right just to tell the story of this ice cream. But otherwise, uh, I've read it pretty much as it was when you last saw it. Thank you very much for watching. I've really enjoyed making this layout using the mood board for UK Scrap Addicts. And I hope you'll tune in and watch in the future. Bye for now.